This is number 10, right? Yep. Okay. Do you want to help me out? Go for it. All right. And then do you want to help me out? 
Uh, sure. All right, come on down, please. I'm going to have you stand over here for me, okay? On those two pieces of wood. And then you're just going to stand on the opposite end. All right, perfect. Now, stand nice and tall. All right, look straight ahead. Have you right here. Looking straight ahead. Where do you say your eyes are at right now? Um, staring right into you. All right, right at his eyes. Where are your eyes at? Uh -huh. All right, now can you guys please switch sides? Like that? All right, now we'll notice something happened, right? Well, here, where are your eyes now? Above her head, where say your eyes are at? Um, below. Below, like his chin? Yeah, they All right, so guys, do we all see the little height shift that happened? Yeah. Yeah, so guys, please give them a big round of applause for helping us out. Which is it? Right, yeah. So this is pretty strange, right? Pretty mysterious. But this in fact is no mystery at all. So as you are standing outside of the mystery spot, you are standing nice and tall, straight up and down. However, as you enter inside of it, you start to develop about a three degree lean, making you appear a little bit shorter as we saw. Now as we get up that hillside into that cabin, it will become a full 17 degree lean. And speaking of that, the fact that everyone's attention to that Life magazine photo right there, hanging on our to the chat. That is Mr. and Mrs. Harding in the year 1940, showing off that 17 degree lean up in that cabin. Now you guys, there is something very mysterious about this photo, and I know it's not how high the man's pants are, okay? Uh, but it is that woman's name. Now we've done our research, it took us a bit, we finally got it. And yes, her name is in fact, Eileen. <laughs> yeah, so uh, if you guys enjoyed that joke, you're going to love the rest of the tour, okay? Um, however, if you guys did not enjoy that joke, I just have to remind you, uh, you paid about $8 for this tour, right? So get ready for some $8 jokes, all right? Guys? And with that, you're going to head up this hillside, so please follow me. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ngày đi lên đi đường, mười lần như này là khỏe lắm. <cười> Down 
giờ này cái trung tâm của nó nó chóng mặt nó khó chịu lắm bây giờ có cảm giác giống như là chóng mặt Right. So guys, now that we are all inside this first courtyard, you probably noticed the strange cabin behind me, right? But uh, can anyone tell me if they notice anything a little bit strange about your tour guide? And please be nice. <laughs> I'm leaning right now, right? I'm standing um, at about an 11 degree lean, but all of us in this courtyard are actually experiencing the lean, okay? So everyone, put your feet together, face towards this cabin right here. All right, now, if you look down at your feet, you'll notice that they're a little bit slanted, right? A little bit off to one side. So then if we could all turn and face towards the parking lot. All right, now, we have actually entered into the yoga portion of the tour. So everyone, please reach your arms up to the sky. Repeat after me, namaste. namaste. And then we're going to bend down to touch our toes. Or I'm just kidding, all right? We're going to spin around to face up hill for me. Now, you guys, we are about to become conduits to the spirit world, all right? So everyone, face up hill. Take your right hand, place it on your head. Take your left hand and stick it out behind you, all right? All right, now if you hold this pose for five seconds, you will start to summon the spirit of Michael Jackson, okay? Yeah, so uh, if you guys enjoyed that thriller of a Michael Jackson joke, then you can just beat it, all right? Uh, all right, so now let's talk about this cabin right here. Uh, this cabin wasn't originally built like this. It was built about 20 to 25 feet up that hillside right there. However, during the storm, it slid down and stopped right here. Now, who can tell me what they think stopped this cabin right here? What is your name, sir? Please give him a big round of applause, you guys. Because you are exactly wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that, that tree right there looks like the most reasonable lancer, right? It looks nice and big, tall, strong. That tree's a redwood. Redwoods are actually one of the fastest growing trees in the world, okay? They grow about two to three feet per year. That tree's roughly around 50 years old, while the cabin behind me is around 80. So if you do that math, tree can grow there, stop the cabin, right? Now, also, this land was originally owned by a lumber company. And you guys, what do lumber companies do? Cut down trees. Cut down trees, exactly. So there were no trees in sight when this camp was built and when it slid down. Now we actually believe that right here is the very center of the mystery spot. We believe that those forces of the center were so strong that they actually stopped this cabin and can still be holding it here to this day, okay? Now you guys probably don't believe me, right? Some stranger in the wood talking about weird forces. However, I can prove this with something, okay? In just a second, I'm going to bring out a very high-tech piece of machinery, okay? And when I bring this out, I'm going to need you guys to give me your biggest, okay? And your loudest. Okay? Followed by even bigger and louder. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we are going to do a little bit of a practice round, but before we do that, I'm just going to ask everyone to limber up a little bit. Be nice and stretchy, you guys. Know? Early morning, so of us to wake up. <laughs> all right. Are we all stretched out, you guys? Oh, yeah. All right, we ready for this practice round? Yes. All right, get ready for this, okay? And the crowd goes. Ooh. That's your guys' biggest and loudest? <laughs> We gotta confuse people down the parking lot, all right? We gotta make moms, dads, aunts, uncles, yes, you know, my manager. So when I bring this out, I'm gonna need you guys to be at least 10 times louder, all right? Can you guys do that for me? I didn't hear you guys. Yes. Okay. I present to you guys the one, the only, the world famous board of mystery, okay? And the crowd goes. This right here is our very own board of mystery. And I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, like, that's just a normal plank of wood from Home Depot, but it's actually from Lowe's, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, show of hands, who thinks that this side right here is the higher side of this board? I feel like we're standing Higher side? Okay, okay, a couple of people. Who thinks that the side in the cabin could be higher? <laughs> Okay, uh, who thinks it's totally level? Level? Okay, and uh, who's just not thinking at all this morning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take my little puppy over right here. Now, do you want to tell me who level is in that level? Going towards the left. So this side is higher? Which side's higher? <laughs> 
got this. This side right here? All right, thank you so much. So, this side right here is the higher side of the board, okay? Now, that means that when I take this ball, I'm going to place it on that board, and it's going to roll downhill, right into the cabin. So, I'm going to take it. I'm going to place it on. But it will actually start to roll up. Yes, that's pretty strange, right? Can you believe that? Give it a little bit of a push into the cabin. It will actually stop. Because it ran out of batteries, right? So, I'm going to push a little bit more push. A little bit more of a push. A little bit more push. All right. And it starts to make its way uphill. Sorry, guys. My ball is a little bit dented. Uh, I've dropped it a few too many times. But maybe this ball right here could be great. Right? Maybe there's like a magnet, maybe a motor, maybe a tiny hamster inside of it. So I'm going to take something that couldn't be great. I'm going to take some of this ball. Yeah, I'm going to pull it onto this part. And it will actually still continue to flow. Okay. Wow. All right, but you guys, there is something very special about this water now that it has touched the board industry, okay? Not just is it only super unsanitary now, but it has in fact turned into vodka, you guys. It's ready to party. This game is vodka the whole time. So please give the board of mystery a big round of applause. Right, now, we are about to head into this cabin, but before we do, I'm going to be doing some demonstrations in here, so please wait until I'm done with all of them and start using things. You guys will have some free time in here, so don't worry about that. It is pretty hard to walk in here, so there are handrails if necessary. But when you guys come in, just try to wrap all the way around this first room, all right? And you guys can start to follow me inside if you <laughs> if you guys wanted to just wrap around a little bit to make space for everyone in the cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably won't land where you think you will, okay? You guys can come on up here and you can be like Superman, all right? Whoa. You can be like the Rose from the Titanic. Uh, you know, you guys can even do sit, but just please don't drop your children, all right? <laughs> and then there are those handlebars right over there. If you hold on to both of those, face towards the parking lot, downhill, and then lift your feet to the air, you'll see that you actually still have that 17 degree lean, even when you are hanging in the air. And then if we could all make our way to that next room, I just have a couple more things to show you guys. Oh, no, 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 no,
Chúc nữa nhiều người nha, khoe em Em Lee rather mysterious about this bench, okay? So if I take this level right here, if I place it on, now, can anyone tell me where the bubble is in that level? It's on the left. On the left, right, which means that's the higher side of the bench. Yep. Now, it doesn't really look like that, right? So just to prove that that is uphill and that is downhill, I once again take my ball, place it on, and it rolls <laughs> downhill, all right? That is, in fact, the higher side of this bench. Now, if that already wasn't straight enough, we are going to do a little demonstration, all right? Is anyone here about six feet tall? Okay. How tall are you? <laughs> Alright. How about like 5'10, five, 5'9? Five, <laughs> You're right there? Alright, come on down. Stand on the very edge of that bench and then face towards the audience. Alright, now how about 5'8, five, 5'7? Five, seven? Five, seven? Alright, you want to come on down? Stand right next to him. All right. How about five six to five five? Five five. Oh, all right. You can go on stand right there. Now, how about five? Oh, you right there? All right. Awesome. You go stand up there for me. And then, how about five two to five one? Perfect. All right. Now, guys, we have actually created something very special. Okay. We have created the one and only AT and T service bar. <laughs> all right. So now, what I'm going to have you guys do for me. If you right there and you right there could please switch spots. All right, and then if you right there and you right there could also please switch. And uh, if you want to feel included, you can just spin the circle, all right? <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to ask you guys to look to your left and then look to your right. Tell me what you guys now notice about each other. Right, would you guys say you're all about the same height now? Yeah. Yeah, no, right? right? Now this is very strange, considering you're about 5'10", five, 5'9". Five, you walked uphill, but you got a lot shorter. And you're about 5'2", 5'1", and you walked downhill, but you got a lot shorter. Now congratulations, the NBA has been called and they are coming on over here, right? And uh, for you, sir, I think Willy Wonka may be looking for some new Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to ask you guys to do a little bit of a balance test for me. Please take your right hand and put it over your stomach. Please take your left hand and put it on your back. And then at your waist, please bend about 90 degrees forward. And that's about you guys. <laughs> I am to it, the taller I look, right? Then the further away from I get, the shorter I start to look, right? However, we can prove this wrong with yet another demonstration, okay? Do you want to help me out? Mm. Alright, come on down. If you could just stand on the edge of that bench and face towards me, 
Perfect. Now on the fence behind me, I'm going to take this level, okay, and I'm going to start raising it up. Now when it matches your eye level, you come and stop, okay? Perfect. Tell me what. Right here? All right, now can you please walk all the way up this fence for me? Oh, all right, and we'll notice that your eyes are now below where this level is now, right? Yeah, all right. Guys, do we all see this? Yeah, do you clarify? Yeah, all right, guys. So please give them a big round of applause. All right, so by doing that demonstration, we did in fact just prove that it is not this we playing right here causing an optical illusion. Now, I'm going to change the subject a little bit and ask you guys to look up and around at all the beautiful trees around us. Now, we actually ended up hiring a few UCSC scientists to come do a few tests on these trees, and they came back with some pretty shocking news, okay? They came back and told us that all of these trees are actually female trees, okay? Now, we were pretty confused, you know, we didn't know trees could have a gender, so we did some further investigation, and we found out that, the, that these trees actually do not like to be called female trees, right? They do not like to be called lady trees, and they do not like to be called women trees. Now, these trees actually like to be called Miss Trees. <laughs> All right, there's the $8 joke. So now we are going to lumber on down to that final courtyard. <laughs> So now that we're all down here in this final courtyard, I'm sure some of us are kind of curious to know what's happening here at the mystery spot. And if you guys would like to know the secret, please raise your hand. Who wants to know the secret? All right, yeah, a lot of us. Um, I would also like to know the secret, which is why my hand is raised, because unfortunately, I actually don't know if it's above my pay grade, all right? Now, we do have a few theories to maybe explain what's going on, and that is what this T stands for. This right here is our theory block, and the only way I can share with you guys these theories is when I'm standing on this T, okay? So let's dive right in with our first theory. Our first theory is that we're directly on top of a giant pool of magma, okay? Now it's said that this giant pool of magma is spinning in the opposite way of the Earth's rotation and that is creating a black hole. Now it's said that this black hole is making some strange things happen, maybe tricking our eyes with some optical illusions, okay? Now, our second theory is that we are directly on top of a fault line, okay? But due to a very important event in the year 1989, that fault line cracked open. But uh, who can tell me what that event was? Welcome to the mystery. 1989. Stand right there here, Mr. Earthquake. Almost. It was actually Taylor Swift was born. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the Loma Prieta earthquake happened. This cracked open that fault line. And now, ever since, it's been releasing hallucinogenic gases, okay? And now, for the past 45 minutes, you guys have all been on a group trip for only $8. Congratulations, you guys. Now, for a final final theory, I'm going to need everyone to rub their hands together like this and do not stop under any circumstances, okay? So. Our third and final theory is that long ago, a giant UFO came and crashed beneath our very feet, okay? Now, it's said that this UFO is still running, making some strange things happen. Before this UFO were aliens. Uh, these aliens did quickly learn how to blend in with humanity, but they're aliens, so they're pretty easy to point out. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little description of what they may look like, so you guys can stay safe. Look out for someone who's about, like, maybe this tall. Um, maybe wears, like, green cargo pants for some reason, and, like, Converse. Maybe, like, a bright or just yellow shirt and blue hair, maybe? It kind of varies, uh, but what I do know is that these aliens have been known to use their mind control powers, okay? To trick strangers into paying them $8 each, into making them walk up a hard hill for no reason, into making them look at a strange cabin for no reason, into making them change height for no reason, and to make them do pointless things like rubbing their hands together for no reason, all right? Now, um, Listen, I know the real reason why you guys came here, okay? It's not to walk up a hard hill, look at a strange cabin, or learn about aliens. You guys are here for the one and only, drum roll please. Mystery spot bumper sticker! <laughs> All right, so if you guys enjoyed this tour, once again, my name is Tally. Um, however, if you guys did not enjoy this tour, and I offended you in any way possible, um, then my name is Henry, and I look exactly like the tour guide behind us, alright? <laughs> so thank you guys for coming, I hope you had a fun time, and welcome to Santa Cruz, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.